It's important as we are running our queries to understand the different data sets and the tables that were ultimately querying itself and understanding the characteristics of those tables and identifying where we might be scanning large tables multiple times would be an opportunity for us to uh, introduce subset querying in order to improve performance. So very specifically in instances where we are querying a table multiple times within one job and applying filter criteria on top of it would be the area and the opportunity to introduce this new technique. Some benefits to call out here with using subset queries is that it will reduce the overall total amount of data scanned within one job, and as a result, reduce the cluster usage required to be able to run that job and making it more resilient to errors. So in the next slide, I've added an example of how you would use a subset query. On the left side would be what an original query would look like. And as you can see here, there are two specific queries. The first query, essentially querying a very large table using a condition to be able to create a temporary table here called temp underscore table. And with that temp table, there's essentially a query against the original large table that joins it with this temporary table to be able to extract out all of the matching records and pulling out some of the columns that are relevant in the output. So as you can see here, this describes essentially a self-join. The impact of running this original query is that you're doing a large scan on that large table once to be able to create the temporary table. And then you're running it again when you're querying that large table and joining it with a subset of records that you have filtered out. As you're thinking about this particular query, think about the specific columns itself that are needed for the joins as well as the final output. And as you can see in that particular query, the columns that are important in this particular example from that large table include column A, column B, column C, and column D. So how you can essentially improve and optimize this query is to introduce a subset query that you see on the right side. And one additional call out in, aside from introducing subset queries is to understand for the columns that you actually need, what the characteristics of that large table look like. For this particular large table in this instance, even though you need column A, B, C, and D only, there's going to be multiple records and instances of those fields existing in that particular large table where other fields in that particular table and values might be different. In this case, since we only care about those columns A and D, it's important to reduce the overall size of that large table by instead of applying the filtration criteria by filtering it by that column A is to my value on the left side. What you could do first is to reduce your ultimate search set by creating the distinct combinations of columns A, B, C, D, and E and making that your temporary table. By creating a distinct set of all of those columns from the large table to save into a temporary table, now what you can do in that final query is to be able to query that temporary table of unique values for those particular columns, and then join it with a subset table that can be queried. Querying that temporary table, again, filtering by your condition where column A is equals to, equal to my value. As a result of that, the query itself is much more efficient because of the significant reduction of records that you have to scan through. Better illustrate on the next slide, uh, I've maintained that improved query here. And on the right side here, have I introduced a visualization overall of what the data looks like. With the large table, you, know, you can view it as this really large box here on the, the left-hand side under large table. For that particular large table itself, when you're querying that large table to separate out all the distinct values for columns A, B, C, D, and E, you'll essentially create a smaller table called temp table, visualized here as that middle box being just significantly smaller, right, compared to that large table. Once you've created that temp table, now in that final query, you're querying that temp table only 
to create that subset table where you're only pulling out records where the column A is equal to my value. As a result of this particular query, you are only doing a join against the temp table and then the subset table itself. And this particular technique will improve uh, the, the query performance. It will improve the amount of memory required uh, to run that query itself. And overall, just make it much more resilient running on the cluster.